Mr. Otter Studio. Today we're going to be going over 10 oil pastel techniques and we're not using any oil or water. These techniques will hopefully help you to be able to use your oil pastels and manipulate them in the way you want to create the artwork that you're trying to create. These are really simple, so just follow along with me and let's get started. The supplies that you will need are oil pastels. I would choose a dark color and then a medium color and a light color. Okay, so you need a dark color, a light color, and then whatever other color you want. Let's get started. The first technique we're going to be using is blending a color into white, and I'm going to be using heavy pressure on this. Choose whatever color you want, and you can start on the left or right. It doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and start on the left. And when we're blending into another color, it works best if you use the darker color first and the lighter color after. So I'm gonna put my red on first and then use my white. And I'm pressing pretty hard, and then as I move towards the center of the rectangle, I'm not gonna be pressing as hard and I'm easing off the pressure until at the very end I'm just barely, 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 barely touching it. So press hard and then slowly press lighter as you go this direction. Then take your white and make sure it's clean. And I like to swirl when I do this and just go into the red. Well, there you have using white and a color. Now let's use gray. I'm gonna use my orange on this one. I'm going to start again on the right. I'm pressing hard and then as I move to the left, Again, I'm just not pressing as hard and that's how this is getting lighter. Okay, then take your gray and start on the left. And again, I'm using pretty heavy pressure and I'm kind of swirling it. Okay, and this is a great way to neutralize your colors if they're too bright and you don't want them that way. All right, now let's use black. For this one, the black is the darkest one. So we're gonna start with black. And as we move towards the center of our rectangle again, we're just not gonna press as hard until we just barely, barely have it. We wanna leave this side pretty white. And take your color, whatever color you want, and start moving towards the center, and I'm just swirling it until we get all the way to that nice pitch black. Now let's take a color and let's go from black all the way to white. Since black is the darkest, I'm gonna put it on first, but I'm not gonna go all the way into the middle. I'm gonna start easing up the pressure about right here. I wanna leave it white in the middle. Then take your color, and then you're just gonna put the color in the middle and blend it into your black and then start going over to the left and just lighten up your pressure. And then grab your white and just start swirling it into your red. So there we have a color we've taken from white all the way to black. Pretty simple techniques, but can you see how it changes the color and how it blends so smoothly? You would never get this effect with crayons. Now let's start on this technique. This is called a heavy pressure blend, and I'm going to be going from red into blue. Take one color and we're just gonna put, let's see. Since my red seems darker, I'm just gonna start here. So start really, really hard and dark on the left, pressing pretty hard, but don't try not to break your oil pastel. Then I'm just lightening up as I get towards this side. And I'm taking my blue and I'm just going over into my red. And we get a nice purple in the middle. Okay, now this is a light pressure blend, so let's do the same thing, but not press as hard. So this is a heavy pressure blend, this is a light pressure blend. Now let's try stiplings. Let's start with our red, actually let's start with our orange, or whatever color you have. Stippling is where we're just gonna be using dots. And to make it lighter, the dots just get further away from each other. I'm gonna grab my red. The more color you use, the better this effect will be. My blue. I like to add more color. And now let's go over scrumbling. I love scrumbling. It doesn't really matter which color we put on here first. I'm just gonna start with my red. Scrumbling is almost like you're just scribbling. This makes an incredible texture. And again, to the right, I'm just gonna get these further away from each other and closer over here. I like that one better. I think I used white. Let's go ahead and try that. In this square, we're going to do a technique called Scraffito. Put your lighter color on first. Probably would work if this was a little bit darker, so I'm gonna grab a darker red. Okay, and then take whatever you're gonna use to scratch into it and go ahead and scratch into it. So go ahead and scratch whatever design you want to in there. Now I'm gonna show you a pressure blend, but we're going to be using a paper towel. The paper towel comes in handy also for one of these techniques. Start with blue and then we're gonna go into from blue to red and red to orange. I'm just gonna start with my blue on this side. 
go into my red and then my orange. You can also use your finger to do this. I'm just gonna use a paper towel. Fold it into a long tube, and then you fold it in half. Then this corner right here is kind of like what you're gonna draw with. So it's a nice, smooth transition. Let's go over the different techniques we just learned. So we have color plus white, and this is a heavy pressure blend. Color plus gray, color blended into black. A color blended into black and white, the whole range of values. This is a heavy pressure blend, a light pressure blend, stipple, scrumbling, scraffito, and a pressure blend. These are 10 beginning oil pastel techniques. Hopefully these help you learn to use your oil pastels more effectively. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.